All right, so we're here with some monkey bars. We're going to work on monkey swings. So this is something I see a lot of people do, including kids. And usually there's not a whole lot of form to it, which is fine because people are just playing around. But I want to look at a particular pattern to work on engagement and activation of the gallbladder sinew channel. So let's look at a couple key techniques for it. We're going to go through three rounds, just looking at highlights, and then we'll look at a training progression for this. So the first one is I want to grab a hold of the bar. Whatever arm I'm grabbing, my right arm in this case, I want that same leg back. And I want to allow that whole side of the body to stretch. I want to get myself hanging underneath the bar. So that's number one. So I'm going to skip a bar and I'm looking up to that second bar. And when I'm ready, I want to go from being stretched and then activate shorten that side and bring it back to neutral. So shorten up. Okay, so same thing. I want to get myself underneath the bar, elongate, stretch. My left arm's holding the bar, my left leg's back. I'm looking up towards that second bar. When I'm ready and I get fully underneath that bar, I can go from long to short. Long to short long to short. All right, second time through. So this time I want to look at not the arm that I'm starting by holding, but I want to look at the arm that's reaching. So same setup. My right arm's grabbing the bar, my right leg's back, but I'm going to focus on the reach. So the elongation, 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 grab. But the elongation doesn't stop there. As I continue through, I continue to elong, so the full stretch is when I'm under the bar, and that's the signal to work on the elastic recoil, to pull, and up. So now my right arm has the bar, it was reaching, it fully reaches, elongates, and then from there, elastic recoil, pull, up, pull, up. All right, so third time through, let's look at the rotation component. So I have this elongation along one side, and as I transition, I want to counter-rotate. So with this, as I reach through with the other arm, the other leg comes through. My left rib cage is closer to my right pelvis, right internal obliques, left and external obliques are contracted. So, elongation, rotate. This is a very common movement. We would have it in walking, sprinting, striking. There's a lot of types of movements that would include that counter rotation. This uh, monkey swing is going to highlight it. So, I have that elongation, rotate. Elongation, rotate. Elongation, rotate. Elongation, rotate. So fourth time through, let's look at a couple key training progressions. There is a potential for injury if you're just swinging from the bars and you're kind of keeping your arms stiff and you're going maybe not even crossing arms and just kind of swinging and not working on form. Not too much uh, potential for damage. But in this particular form and progression we're doing, there's a lot of elongation of the tissue that we're purposely allowing so that we can work on the recoil. So there's potential for injury. So let's look at some ways to start so you don't injure yourself. First off, having my feet on the ground is going to be helpful. I'm still working on skipping a bar so I can have my feet on the bar. Up. When I go through this next time, my leg that's back, I'm going to put it on the ground. Other foot on the ground. Through. It's kind of like I'm running on water. So in this case, my right foot down, left foot down, up. Left foot down, right foot down, up. So last progression, we're going to use a resistance band. This is really how I started doing this, in the sense that I wanted to really work on that form and that uh, activation of the gallbladder sinew channel. So I'm going to take the band, loop it around my leg. I'll go ahead and state the obvious, is you have to be careful about placement. So I want it to be between genital region 
and the thigh, so I'm right up into the groin, but I'm not causing any harm. So same thing, I'm reaching with my right arm, stepping back with my right leg. That's the leg that's suspended by the band, so I'm partially sus uh, supported by the band. And up. When I'm doing it this way, I'm only doing one side at a time. And the idea is I'm using the band to allow myself to really hang. And then the band assists me up. Hang up. Hang up. If this was still challenging for me, I could use a heavier band.